Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of our Indian Summer. Indian Summer! Indian Summer. <laughs> Indian Summer dance. <laughs> um, okay, so today we've got Paul Jean Indian Single Malt it's Whiskey. Paul Jean, not Paul Jean. I always think it's like so French. Paul Jean. Paul Jean. I think it's because of Jean et Paul. <laughs> Jean de Paul. It's Paul John. Paul John. Very standard. Okay. 50, 55.2%. It's called The Classic. Stick Woo! around yeah. and uh, listen to this little song. We'll tell you all about it. Ready and see, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, Scotch, bourbon, and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Okay, great song. Great song. Okay, so let's let's open this up. You got? I'm gonna just. I, what's kind of cool about this one is, is well, like, you look at that. this. It's not just like you don't pull off the top or whatever. You actually like it's a magnet that opens the bottle up. That is kind of nice. I like that presentation. Wow, a magnet. <laughs> I like that presentation, though. I got it. It does look good. You know what? I think the green looks good. And I like that it just, like... Oh, yeah, it just self-closes. It's like those those cupboards where you, like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. The drawer just kind of... I wonder if the microphone will pick this up. Incredible. The things you can do with science these days. <laughs> when did they discover magnets? <laughs> magnet. Okay, let's just get right into let's it. Let's go right into this one this time. I'm going to pour it, and we're going to just go straight into nope. color, nose, taste, finish, and viscosity. Again, this is bottled at 55.2%. It's considered Lovely. the classic. Not uh, you know a big variety of, or not a lot of peat in this one. There is some peat, but it's not a huge component of this whiskey. It's quite malty. It's like a, just a classic. It's called the classic for a reason. Ready? Color, nose, taste, finish, viscosity. Let's Hold on, I'm just guy. getting my tasting notes. <laughs> the color on this, I mean, I should really just check. Does it say non-chill filtered? I believe it. It always. sure does. It sure does. Does not indicate natural color, but but I, you know, it's it's looking relatively uh, light. I mean, it's a you know, I, I don't know. I It's hard to ever really tell when they don't put it on the label. Um, but these Indian whiskeys are also uh, not aged for very long. Excuse me. <laughs> what the F you know what I didn't, um, I didn't didn't take my notes. my notes. I didn't prepare my notes. There so just ignore me. I'm just going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my notes. These are my notes here. And I'm going to put them on the floor. And then I'm going to subtly look at them and uh, so see if people can notice. <laughs> oh, it's got to... Excuse me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just keep dropping things. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What do you think? A medium amber. It's a medium, medium amber. amber. <laughs> it is a medium. You're right. Extra, Does that help your head? <laughs> extra medium amber. Okay. Uh, let's go on to the nose. Yeah. Nobody cares about the color. Huh. Hold on. It's three years... <laughs> It's three years old, or three, four years old, so some of the colors maybe not going to be natural. It might be. It's it's hard to really know. <laughs> Thanks for all that information. You're welcome. The color might be natural. We don't know. <laughs> we don't really know. Nobody really does. <laughs> okay. Not even John Paul does. <laughs> Paul John. <laughs> okay. No Smell way. it. Okay. Uniquely bourbony. It is quite bourbony. Instantly. Yeah. Instantly it reminds me of bourbon. It's got a, like a sappy kind of a sugar up front to it. A little bit of... It's got like a um, peach syrup, I find. Like there's a... You know like the canned syrup? Or peaches? Yeah. Sorry, I got the giggles right now. <laughs> sugar. <laughs> like a sappy kind of a sugar up... Okay. Okay. Get your shit together here. Get your shit together. See. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, but I'm, yes, tropical... <laughs> yeah. Tropical, you said peach, the peach syrup? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Tropical fruits all day long. Yeah, all day long. There's some mango on there. There's some pineapple in there. There's not so much like with the Cavalan where they have like the coconut, but it's it's very tropical fruits. Very you much so. You just gave me a thought though. 
think about this. Okay. You said pineapple, and the first word that I glommed onto while I was sniffing pine. away was pine. Oh, okay. Well, actually, in my notes, it does say there's a menthol kind of note to it. Oh. I find with this Paul John, <laughs> Paul John, I always say it. It's so stupid. Okay. Worst video ever. Whatever. Hashtag Indian Summer. I always find that there is a bit of a menthol kind of a note to the nose yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and the taste, though. That sometimes kind of goes with a little a touch of peat kind of thing. Yeah. But I don't get anything really smoky out of this one. I get a little bit of this, uh, like, it's, you say not smoky, but it's, I do get, again, with an, the other varieties of this is the pipe tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. This has a lot of, so I've got like apple, like apple Danish kind of thing going on here. A bit of a, um, like a sweet baked pear, green apple. Like I'm into these, uh, these tree fruits here quite a bit on this one. Yeah, for sure. Big time. Actually, and that big bit figgy, like it's so. It's very. Splendid. It's got lots of fruit in it. It's got it. lots of sweetness up front on the nose. Very, um, but very I also, nice. and we said this when we unboxed it, and we kind of glossed over it a bit tonight, is the bourbon aspect of it. Big time. Like you can tell, it's been aged in an ex bourbon barrel. And actually, my tasting note says, "Effing bourbon." Effing bourbon, man. Okay, sure. let's move on but, to taste. No, but one last thing is that. <laughs> A lot of whiskeys are bourbon barrel aged. Yes. That you just don't really get any bourbon notes out true, of them. True, true. This is, we have to emphasize, this is beyond just your regular bourbon barrel aged. Like, yeah. This it, it, smells like bourbon. It smells like Branton's. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Okay. And that was your discovery and is you're banging on there. Yeah. Okay, I'm finished. Okay. Well, let's taste this stuff. And again, 55.2%. And it is fifty five point two percent. Like it behaves as a <laughs> as a higher strength whiskey for sure. But all once you get past that little bit of a, it's only a little bit vapor. Though. It's all those it's fruit well. flavors are there. All the tropical notes are there. It's really really nice and sweet, but kind of those barley sugars and that pipe tobacco. It's all there. I like that it's doesn't just taste like imitation scotch. I said it before with Paul John is that it's uniquely Indian. Mm -hmm. It's um, it reminds me of Cavalan. There's just so much tropical. Like It's fun to me because it's not like any other whiskey that's out there. It doesn't taste like anything else. It's yeah. got its own signature to it. I kind of want to just do a side-by-side -side oh, nose. Gonna nose. Just the Blanton's. Do you want a glass? Here. No, I'll just ruin the model of my nose. I'm going to put my snotty nose, nose on there. But it's true. It does have a little bit of that, that flavor. Yeah. This is almost that that cherry bourbon. I was going to say, there's there's some cherries in there yeah. for sure. Okay. But this Fire. has... <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. I grew up, my grandmother, Yeah. she always had pastels for drawing with. Like she did art, art. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Everything okay up there? She did art with pastels, and she would give them to us like they were crayons. And there is something pastel-y. Like if you've ever drawn with with pastels, you'll know it has this very interesting kind of like. Um, it's got a fragrant kind of smell to it, in the way that crayons do, but totally different. Yeah, like waxy, but yeah. not like I yeah. know what you're pastels saying. Pastels is more clayy or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For but sure. um, there's it's something almost more natural, like an earth, like yeah. an earthy. Kind there's of something pastelly about this nose on this. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in there, just because this one, although it's quite mild for 55.2 percent, oh. the water really truly does open this one up at all those tropical notes that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Just brighten a little bit. The uh, the hair. sweet and sour of the pineapple is definitely there. Ah! The nose, the nose actually intensifies quite a bit. It gets rid of the alcohol vapor, and it yeah. just intensifies the actual spirit, which I like. We've said it before. Mm. Um, it was a while ago now, but still recent to us. Uh, <laughs> was Doctor Don's reference to um, scientific documentation indicating that whiskey shows its best nose and flavor at twenty three percent? 
Yeah. So watering something down, uh, you might not necessarily want to, you know, fill your 40% whiskey with half water, but um, it does show when you put water in mm-hmm. there, it brings out different things. And if it's like a well-made spirit as well, because like, you it can, can hold that you, water. Yeah, it can hold the water. It actually like boldens it compared mm-hmm. to some spirits aren't. They get overwhelmed. Really not by meant it. for it, and they get overwhelmed and they drown and they kind of just get thin. Where this, like I added just now again, and it's still like opening up. It's like th- these Paul John whiskeys are floral in the sense that they like there's a big bouquet on them. I just got something now that I've added the water. I just got something bubble gummy about it. Yeah, for sure. Um, so major league <clears throat> cheer, grape, love it. Um, on the finish. Mm-hmm. Get the oaky tartness, yep. as we often do. Uh, but a unique note here on the finish. Mm-hmm. Taste with me. Okay. Finish with me. Finish. Pencil shavings. I don't know. This came to me. Okay. You don't okay, have to remember. Agree. No, but but <laughs> it reminds me. It's true. Like it sparks a memory of like being in elementary school <laughs> right. and. Using the pencil sharpener and all the pencil shavings dropped and they to the have counter. that unique yeah um there's that 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 aroma that aroma of a fresh pencil yeah. uh, sharpening yeah very much so Something on there. yeah yeah sandalwood ish and it, okay. it's almost like uh those that's kind of like how I've never been to India have you I've been to India I've oh. actually lived in Goa <laughs> where this is from but uh, thanks for asking I picture like some of the smells besides all the feces and whatnot to be like sandalwood and incense and stuff like that and this kind of holds some of those spices and exotic flavors in it yes. which you know th- this whiskey can transport you to India it does hopefully to Goa specifically um, so let me talk a, a few facts about Paul John while you're tasting away there. While you're stuffing your face with whiskey. <laughs> uh, Paul John Distillers launched their single malt in on October 4th, 2012. They first yeah. actually made the single malt in 2008, so it was about three, four years old at the time. They started making blended whiskeys back in 1992. As we mentioned before, Goa, India is where it's from, where they have the monsoon climate. Right. Um, <clears throat> where Which it, explains it, the tropical notes. Yeah, and it accelerates the aging process, but it also increases the angel's share up to between 10 and 12%, right. as opposed to, like, Scotland at 2%. Per so, year. Per year, yeah, that's yeah. a good point. And um, so after three years in a hogshead barrel, Paul John is left with only 150 bottles, right? whereas a typical scotch would be left with 350 bottles like you you've potentially lost about 36 percent of the volume of that barrel in three years with that angel share at 10 yeah. percent. so in 10 years it's all gone yeah. yeah um so hence this price on this one was about i think it was about 125 bucks for this bottle it's pretty steep but pretty steep but considering the losses that they have to take to make this it is understandable, especially considering this is a cast strength. I mean, um, true. I've paid one hundred and twenty-five dollars for many other whiskeys that, that were far inf- worse, inferior to this. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with the purchase myself, and just the discovery of it and figuring out that what Indian whiskey is capable of mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. worth Good the point. price tag. Good point. Um, and we've actually discussed in private but we'll tell you people is this but don't tell anyone else this could be a whiskey of the year contender oh i think it's up there it's up there i mean uh we've also discussed the fact that sometimes cask strength whiskeys aren't necessarily all they're you know meant meant to be or people build them up to be yeah but this one actually is uh quite nice it's well played yeah, yeah. touche paul john yeah. mr john yeah okay so thank you guys score Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I gave it a 28. You gave it a 30, which gives it a 29. Whoa, 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 that is whoa. a really, really good score. 29 out of 33.33. That's up there. It it's could potentially rare. be bigger than that. It's rare to find a 30. Yeah, it really I gave is. it a 30 personally. I think we've had maybe three, four, three threes. or four 30s in, in our whole going career. On three years, our yeah. career in whiskey. Yeah. Going on three years. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that the end of that? That's the end of that.
Um, hey, 29 thanks, out of 33.33. Thanks for watching. Um, click like, click subscribe, and uh, hashtag Indian Summer when you put up your uh, Indian whiskey photos. And also, check out Beer Reviews with Trenny and C. Yeah. It's Love fun. It. It's just beer. It's beer. Don't take it so seriously. It's just beer. Drink it, slam it, love it, shotgun it, whatever. Who gives a shit? An S. Sorry. We'll, okay. we'll edit that out. Yeah, yeah. Okay.